in pursuit of total control. Cao Cao moves on Jing, capturing it in the blink of an eye and continues south. Soon, he arrives at Sun Quan's Yang province. His huge numbers practically bury the banks of the Shang'an. Faced with such a powerful enemy, Wu wavers between fighting and surrendering. Elsewhere, Liu Bei, after being driven from Jing, gains the services of the sleeping dragon, Zhuge Liang. In such tense times, what will this genius strategist suggest? Now, the strategies of Zhuge Liang are about to change the fates of Cao Cao, Sun Quan, and Liu Bei. It seems Sun Quan has refused our demands to surrender. Hmm. He clearly is ignoring the present situation at his own peril. He truly is nothing more than a wild animal. As such, we should hunt him down like one. All right. I gotta practice swimming. I need to be able to protect Lord Cao Cao even if I fall off the boat. Looking at you. I think you'd probably just float in place. Besides, try not to fall off the boat in the first place. Hmm. Shu Chu is right. There are times when you might fall from the boat and need to swim. We need to be prepared for any eventuality if we seek victory. Ridding ourselves of Sun Quan and Liu Bei here will place the land within our grasp. Everybody! Go and start the preparations for the upcoming naval battle. My lord, please forgive my interruption. I wish to speak to you about appointing yourself to the title of Duke of Wei. The Duke of Wei? My lord, you have nearly united the entire land in your name. No man has ever achieved what you are on the verge of accomplishing. Therefore, I cannot imagine that anybody would object to you assuming the role of Duke of Wei. Wait just a moment. I don't agree with your assessment. If our Lord becomes the Duke of Wei, he is no longer acting on behalf of the Emperor. He would simply have his own army and territory. Doing so would cause him to lose the moral high ground of fighting in the name of the Han. Most people would accuse him of trying to seize power for himself. We need that moral high ground if we are to create a new order for the land. That is why Master Cao Cao welcomed the Emperor. We cannot undo the work we have done. Shun Yu, Dong Zhao, I shall put this matter on hold for the time being. We must focus on the battle that lies before us. That is a matter that can wait until after we have brought an end to the chaos. Our showdown with Sun Quan draws ever closer. If anybody has any doubts, I wish to hear them now. I would like to work on improving our naval readiness. An actual battle would be best, but we don't have the time for that. I've heard that there are bands of pirates in this region. Perhaps we should deal with them so they do not interfere with our battle plans. I fear there are many soldiers who will suffer from seasickness. I am worried that we do not have enough physicians. My only concern is that the scouts sent to check out Sun Xuan's camp have yet to return. Is it possible they were captured by the enemy? The enemy features two capable strategists in Zhou Yu and Zhuge Liang. There is a strong possibility that they have already planned something for us. Such as false rumors, for example. Or perhaps they have sent a forged letter. 
As such, it is important that we seek the absolute truth in all matters. Hmm. Thank you for your opinions, everyone. We are currently looking to face one army while turning our back to another. Ma Tang of Liang Province continues to grow in strength while we deal with Sun Quan. There are many enemies besides Sun Quan and Liu Bei determined to stop us from uniting the land. We cannot afford to waste any more time. Everyone, I need you to quickly dispel your doubts and misgivings and prepare for this showdown that awaits us. I've been placed in charge of our naval training. I don't think I'm the right man for the job, though. I heard that taking on bands of pirates can be useful training. I'm not sure if I'll be any good, but I've got to give it a shot. Huh? You'll go with me? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
can my tactics fail like that? Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. That's it. Keep it up. We've been ordered to secure that area. It's about time we get to see some action. I must fall back. I'm sorry. I promise we'll keep away from here. So, so please, just let us go. Stand against my might! Our scouts are being attacked on the way back from the enemy's camp. But we've got our hands full too. Is there no one who can help them? Thank you. Right, to finish. 
is now I can get this important information back to our forces. After obtaining just the information we needed, only to be slaughtered on the way back. Thank you for the reinforcements. This information will be a big help. Stopping until victory is ours. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. After obtaining just the information we needed, only to be spotted on the way back. Time to finish this! Thank you for the reinforcements. This information will be a big help. Until I get back with this information. There's no way you can catch up, so don't bother chasing me. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. You actually possess a modicum. This spot is unprotected. I'll see to its defense. Thank you. Now I can get this important information back to our forces. Nothing can stand against my might! The scouts have brought some good info back. Why don't you go talk to them? So, is everything ready for the battle? The bandits have been dealt with. They will not bother us during the battle. We have obtained some valuable information. 
It will be up to our officers whether we can utilize it in battle. Hmm. In that case, I shall give the men a much needed rest. We must keep their spirits high for the battle ahead. Our preparations for the upcoming battle are complete. We must take this time to rest and gain in strength and vigor for the challenge to come. I understand the reason why, but this is still a rather strange formation. Yes. This formation is for appearance's sake only. If we had more time, we could have done something to the ships themselves. But alas, we are lacking in both preparation and training. However, we possess the overall advantage in numbers, so... I'm curious how the enemy will come at us. I do not see them attempting to attack us on the water. I give that almost no chance of happening. You say that, yet you sound as if you still have some apprehensions. If something is bothering you, you should bring it up with our Lord. No, it's not so much that I have apprehensions. I just have a general feeling of unease. The winds have grown quite strong. A cook fire was just stirred up by the winds and almost turned into a full-fledged inferno. That reminds me, Soon Chuen is downwind of us. Shouldn't we be thinking about using a fire attack against him? That would be an option if we weren't on the river. Their navy ships are spread out, meaning a fire attack wouldn't be very effective. I see. Their navy is also well-trained. I didn't think it could be that easy. Anyway, our Lord has summoned us. Please, come with me. Very well. Let's go, Master Shunyo. This time of year, the winds along the Xiangjiang blow to the southeast from the northwest. The winds are especially strong this evening. We should be arriving at the enemy's position shortly. This is the chance we have been waiting for. We shall cross the Xiangjiang and slay Sun Quan and Liu Bei. We can overcome our disadvantage on the water through sheer numbers and superior valor. Now, follow me to victory! Ah! We shall use these northwestern winds to obliterate the enemy. This is the end for Liu Bei and Sun Quan. Report! Strategist Jugo Leong is acting suspiciously. Defeat him! Quickly! Hey! Get on in here! Come again! Hey! Get on in here! Come again! Welcome! Welcome! Do please come again! Xiao's forces have appeared on the opposite bank. Fire! 
Fire at them! We've got tens of thousands of arrows here. These stores make us invincible. the Shangjiang. Men of Wu, form an impenetrable wall that they cannot pass! This is strange. I do not see Sun Chun. We should cross the river and see what is going on. Very talented fighter. Chudo Young is a brilliant strategist. He must. Somebody here, too. That is terrifying. Can I just stay here? Time to finish this! There you are, forces of Tsao Tsao! The Wu main camp is right here, you mean dick dog! Magnificent job! I'm glad you're on our side! This shall be where we draw the line. Make preparations to defend this territory. <laughs> 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 
You know, you actually possess a modicum. Chang, you must not take any unnecessary risks. Cao Cao's army is not to be underestimated. Don't worry, Lord Liu Bei. I'm more than strong enough to protect everybody. We're going to secure this area. Everybody, forward! Magnificent job. I'm glad you're on our side. Zhou Yu has been influencing our allies. We should question anyone suspicious. best to serve Master Cao Cao.
position is too important to be left undefended. We shall go protect it. based on the sudden change of the wind. Was everything they did up to now simply a preparation for this flame attack? Can't be. Then you think the enemy knew about this wind and that's why they used the fire attack? Zhou Yu. No. Zhugo Young. This fire will leave a bitter taste. This is what happens when you let the enemy carry out their strategies with impunity. 
However, it is a warrior's duty to overcome such obstacles. I must use my might to forge us a path to safety. We've lost contact with our allies. We don't know if Lord Cao Cao is alive or dead. What should we do? I don't see our lord anywhere, and our ranks have crumbled. We clearly have no shot at victory in this battle. Fall back to Xiangyang! We must survive today so that we can avenge this defeat tomorrow! It is important to remain calm, even in the most desperate situations. We must work together and break through the enemy forces. I am worried about our Lord's whereabouts. We can only hope that he is okay. soul beyond this point. Face me, if you dare! It's important. Keep moving. We want to protect our allies. We must defeat this enemy and break through the enemy lines here. Something else. Master Wong Guy's surrender seems to have been accepted without suspicion. The fire attack is a complete success. The South Shower forces are really panicking. My strength has proven insufficient. I only hope that Master Zhuge Liang's next plan. Managed to repel the enemy for now. However, we must secure this area and continue to protect our allies. A lot of officers have fled to Hulin. How about searching for them? Nothing can stand against my might! Yes! Brilliant! 